Hello everyone, welcome to jobskillshare.com. Today the video is going to be about browser troubleshooting. If you are joining in from YouTube or any other place, this is a free course that I'm teaching on jobskillshare.com and the course is 2000 help 2014 help desk support entry level to specialist course. So, to the video today is going to be under section. If you click on this link, you go to the course and then you go all the way down to learning path it's going to be on the left side and it will say browser troubleshooting it's going to be under here today video is going to be a little bit talking and uh, it could be a little boring for some people who already know this stuff so you can skip it over but it, it's a very nice video because we have to think about um the the video that i show is all all about users helped us how 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 is it going to help you at work it is not to um, uh, troubleshoot things right now. It's just how how are you gonna do? How are you gonna manage your work related stuff? So you have to question yourself that users use browser, Outlook, Microsoft Office most of the time. Eighty percent of the time, user users are basically active on this kind of stuff. They're not worried about going to control panel and doing things here. They don't do scripting inside the computer. They don't do any other stuff, but like all this recovery. They're not worried about this stuff. Only thing that they're worried about is their applications, what they're they're trained on, and most of it is related to their web. Um, most of the applications are web-based now. So you have to be good in this stuff because you have to know this. First thing is that troubleshooting browsers and um, some some of the things that they use all the time and that's what really matters to us as a help desk people or anyone in IT that are solving um, user related stuff so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through all major three major browsers that are in this in the companies these days and they're using it pretty heavily um, I'm going to start from IE because even though these might a lot of people might come say these are better than IE and all that but to be honest I worked in few companies and all of them use IE um, and manager will kinda like push them to use IE now I know there's a lot of people using Chrome and uh, Firefox but they're not that much so the, the standard is IE over here so we're gonna go through IE first and then go to Firefox and then um, Chrome, uh, Chrome I'm not saying which one is better than thing that is not the, the purpose of this video the purpose of this video is to for a new helpless person um, what kind of calls will you get uh, and this is a course related to, to real skill um, related stuff so I'm going to start from directly from a, a client example let's say Jim, Jim is an uh, employee of jobskillshare.com and he's working here um, and he called Dan for support uh, and now the call is related to just a normal page showing a red X sign here these images are not showing up or uh, let's say something is wrong with this text or something is weird something weird is happening and then you the first thing you need to do is you need to know how to troubleshoot the browser itself and if that can fix it quickly um, yeah one thing you need to do let's say for example this person this employee is saying that msn.com he's working on it and he's saying that something is not right I can't see the images on this link I can't see the images on, uh, on the text on the front link or uh, all that stuff the first thing you need to do is ask them to send you the link directly copy that link and send it to you so when they send you the link you check it on your computer and that kind of clears things out let's say it's working perfectly you can see all the images everything is working then you're like okay it's it's not it's not overall issue it's not something from a site let's just check it on the computer itself now so what are you gonna do first thing I would do and I and I know some people might have a better way to solve these problems but this is how I solve the problem I will right click here and then click on this menu bar so that shows me um, options right here now you can also use this little option here and it will show you other options here too but I like to keep it this way so I click on tools and then I go to internet option and the first thing I do is I click on delete I'm gonna go back click on delete 
and then I pick these three options the first three options right here and I would uncheck this I click on delete and that just start deleting some normal little cache stuff and temporary files then I close the browser let me close this one too then I close the browser and then I reopen it okay so when I reopen it if I still see that there's a problem then I think I need to do a little bit more now and if it's fixed now it's good you're good you're good to go you close the call but now let's say it's getting a little bit more than that after that what I will do is I'm going to go to uh, internet options again and now I am I did this part right here what I'm going to do is I will click on advance and then click on restore advanced settings and then click on reset but before doing reset what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and check this area and I'm going to copy this and the reason I say I will copy this because let's say this user have 10 home pages set up for um, home tabs like you know these are the home page tabs let's say this person is having they, they set it up like 10 pages in here and they like it that way now if you if you do reset some of the time I notice it will take that away um, it will it will flush this thing out and then we'll put MSN go Microsoft.com on it so basically and if, if you don't remember it and what site they did they put you're kind of telling a user that you have to kind of remember things again and put it again so I wouldn't do that I'll just copy it do my reset I'll go here and then I'll just do my reset and if it clears it out you have it in your copy paste area you just go back in here and I'm not sure it might keep it right now see it's keeping it sometimes it just blow it away maybe I'm not doing some options right here but it keep it, it blows it away and then you don't have that anymore and I can come back here right click and copy paste if I had just a good option you know it's it's a good backup um, so that's how you troubleshoot very normal problems with IE um, if it's more than that things are still not getting done then you're looking into uninstalling and reinstalling IE okay so let's say this is a little bit more than this now you do you did that part you or you did did the reset on it and still didn't work now the third thing now here's the thing to notice um, now I'm not saying that there couldn't be other other problems it could be compatibility issue let's say for example the site is a little bit different site and it's not coming up on one computer on one browser it's coming up good but on other browser it's not coming up you can always use this right here compatibility option and that what it does it kind of looks for the uh, compatibility options and that kind of give you another way of trying to look into this okay that is that's that are some ways that you can do um you can troubleshoot very very small problems now let's say it's getting a bit more than tricky it's uh, oh, it's not getting fixed now let's just try another way other thing is that there's a lot of add-ons on uh, IE or any other browsers you want to check the site without add-ons so you might want to copy this and then go to start and then type IE internet and you see that as soon as you, as soon as you in type internet you see this add no add-ons that means if you have custom add-ons that is creating a problem and um, giving you a hard time with some kind of site that is creating some issues you can also test it this way is it really add-ons that are making problems so you click on no add-ons and now this this IE doesn't have any add-ons it's like a stripped down version of IE and then you paste that link in there and then try it and see if that fixes it so you saw in a few in a few minutes there were so many different ways that you could fix uh, IE related issues and if it's still not working now you said okay let me try this you have on one PC you have IE 10 or in one PC IE you have IE 9 let's see which one this is, this is IE 9 so let's say if somebody is using IE 10 on other computer and it's working on that then it could be a browser's problem or let's say IE 10 there's somebody having IE 10 and you have IE 9 so let's say somebody have IE 10 and you have IE 9 and on IE 10 it's not working but IE 9 is working and I had some some users that were they couldn't see they couldn't drop down the tabs on the bottom here 
and those were like compatibility issue now so maybe ie 10 version put more security in there that this is creating a problem with your site so it depends if these are like big sites like msn type google type big ones i'm sure they're not going to have any problems with it because those are being tested like you know the first thing they're going to test these big sites on but but if these are like your custom server related sites microsoft doesn't know about it so you might be using some kind of technology that microsoft is kind of putting more security on it and now you're having all the problems oh our tabs are not working you click on this area and boom it's not working those could could be a compatibility type issues so you what you want to do is you want to go to tools and then compatibility we've settings click on that and then add your site and then try and see if it works so that's another way to fix those little problems with IE um, let's say nothing works here and you know that same version IE 9 and same site is working on another computer with the same version then you you're looking into uninstalling IE and reinstalling it and IE ins uninstallation is not just like a normal uninstall you go to control panel and uninstall it let's just try it right now we'll go to control panel right now and try to uninstall it you go here and then you just go all the way to the bottom Microsoft and then you think to yourself oh there's no IE 9 what this is crazy so IE 9 are not here the IE 9 or IE 8 you c they come with windows so you gotta deal with them from from uh, turn windows features on or off so it's a feature that is when windows basically putting up and I'll show you another thing that it says IE 9 right here right but if I take this IE 9 I'm gonna get IE 8 and how to do that some if someone wants there's a there's a need for IE8 let's say or somebody put a IE IE10 in here you're not gonna see IE9 but you wanna go back to IE9 uh, IE9 or IE, IE8 you can't do it from here you can remove it from here it's gonna go one one version down but you really can't uninstall stuff like that so what you have to do is you you have to go to weave install updates and then you go all the way to the bottom and check if you see update for IE9 and let's see if this windows came with IE9 or maybe 8 let's just check it out right now so we go all the way down 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 and you see this right here windows internet explorer 9 if i remove this IE9 right now from this update this this section it's going to give me IE8 automatically on that features so when i restart my computer i'm going to have IE8 and this is how you come step by step down to these these IE different versions I know it's kinda crazy but this is how it, you have to do it so that was IE basically it was really basic stuff I'm not gonna go deep in there um, other thing you might wanna check is if their site is some kinda more issue there, there was a virus or some attack on your system then what you can do is you can um, go back here go to tools and check this part right here which always some of the wires is always mess it up go to uh, connections and then let me go back here tools internet options click on connections and then LAN settings and usually what happens is that it will some of the wires will basically uh, put their proxy in there so everything goes through this connection then you know you might you might get a google.com but then everything is going through this so if you put any passwords or anything like that it is messed up because all that is is coming from here so you need to make sure that this is automatically detected a lot of people have this settings these days DHCP automatically pick up the IP address and all that so that was IE9 uh, now let's go back to another browser um, we're gonna do um, Chrome let's say somebody's using Chrome here and they're having issues what you need to do is here is basically the right side of it is the is the, is where the tools are and stuff like that so you can go to tools and extensions here task manager clear browsing history and it has a little bit like a nice way of d doing things so if you cl click on clear browsing data you're gonna get an option here what do you want to to erase and I'll say from the beginning and clear everything out and you see this has already these major things are checked in there empty the cache and stuff like that you can do that and clear it and see if that works for you after that 
extensions are another thing in here I don't have any extensions there but uh, if I do I'll see it right here and then I can block them and uh, then I try to re do the same same process for like IE we had add-ons and this one has extensions and stuff like that so um, Google is pretty simple though it's nothing nothing uh, you really don't have too much in it um, other than that just um, removing the history and all that stuff um, other thing about Google is that you can do um, import and if you go to advanced settings right here um, you can do the privacy settings you can change this stuff from here too uh, it depends how you want to how s strict do you want this Google to be uh, you can do all that stuff from here if you click on advanced settings and you can hide that again uh, in uninstalling and reinstalling Google is extremely easy you go to Google and then you go to um, program features and you'll see Google Chrome right Google Chrome right here uninstall it reinstall the new one and see if it works for you because that's the easiest way IE, IE will be a hard one to do it's going to ask you for updates and all that stuff but Google is pretty easy uh, that will work now let me tell you guys another thing about browser troubleshooting and I'm not gonna go through too much about the um, the Firefox one because it's the same process for Firefox also you go remove the cache remove the history and um, other stuff like easy stuff and just remove the same process so if you know IE IE will be the hard one and now you know the other ones are pretty easy now what other thing I do is uh, for testing browser related issues I always keep one portable browser with me in my USB or my shared drive and if you type Chrome portable just type that and you see the top one just click on that and then click on the first link and download this now let's download it right here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna run that download and um, what I do is most of the time somebody call me and then they're like having issue in I IE or Firefox or something maybe Chrome itself they might be having a issue with it then I, I just want to check it from something very different not related to that Windows because you know portable portable system run they, that's why they call it portable because they're kinda unrelated to your system like system files and everything so if it's infected or there's an issue with the site or there's an issue with a different browser it's a very quick way to to check things without going to too many going to too technical in it you know so you can fix some stuff by this way and I, I had seriously to be honest I have solved a lot of problems this way that one browser would have some kind of issue um, because uh, I don't know some some kind of like sites would be not working because of the flash error or anything like that and when I check when I click my portable and it's it, it works on it then I kinda okay I, I narrow it down that okay it's just that browser I need to just stick to that browser nothing is wrong with the windows and stuff like that so you guys saw that I just down um, I, I just put a portable chrome in there let me see where I put that I just installed and I forgot where I okay here Google Chrome so if you double click on that page you see I have a portable Google Chrome in there I can take it to my USB and run it from another place I can put it on my shared drive and run the same site on it and see if it works on this um, and then if I see everything is working oh okay this is uh, working good on Chrome I don't need to install it on this machine just to check this site so see I have a full browser with me to test things without installation without putting other things on my my desktops so this is how I solve that problem too um, other than this this video is a basic video that I wanted to show you guys that you guys could do just clear some simple calls like these um, just by by doing those steps uh, not a very technical video I know um, just a basic one so if you're new used to get used to this stuff this is some stuff that you want to take um, other thing that I'm gonna go the last thing that I'm going to go through is um, and I'm not gonna go through too technical but other thing that I use is a uh, CC cleaner which is my favorite favorite um, cleaner for all the browsers so let's say for example somebody is using three or four browsers and they want me and then they're having these all these issue with cache internet files temporary files temporary internet files and I'm like oh man I'm gonna go through all that 
all these four browsers just to clean that stuff that's a headache for me I need to find something that can automatically detect all these browser and clean it away for me and that's CC cleaner play a great role in this and and I'm gonna go I'm gonna do another deep technical video uh, where you can where you guys will see how I clean computers um, not just browser level uh, whole computers and, and and multiple computers at the same time and that would be in a different video not on this one this is a basic one so what I do for CC cleaners I also put that on portable CC cleaner portable you go ahead and install that and after that just uh, run the installation not the installation sorry the zip file because it's a portable file so you can also put this in your shared drive or in your USB wherever you prefer so now I have this I'm going to extract so let's go back here okay so usually I keep this folder with me so I can just copy this folder to my USB cancel this cancel everything just to make sure everything is fine and then I just double click on this and then double click on if it's a 64-bit system then I click on that and if it's a 32-bit system it's that one right there so I double click on it and I say okay yes recommended and then you guys see the f windows it will it will automatically pick Internet Explorer for you uh, what I do is I uncheck this area because some users on um, they typed a lot of links and they don't wanna type it again and um, that's their preferences a lot of I have seen some people oh my my recent type you are all gone and of course I was cleaning your computer but you know you can't just get into do those arguments with users so it's better to just uncheck this and not even get get to that point to start like you know that whole process with user so I'll just see, leave the other ones for now because like I said this is a basic video and I will check this I'm going to show you guys if you click application right here and it will automatically pick other browsers so if I had a Firefox in here it would pick Firefox in here and all the other stuff some like stuff that you you don't know it's building some cache in there and all that kind of stuff and see it, it will clear that for me and all I gotta do is run cleaner click OK and what's gonna happen is this is gonna go through automatically not doing too much and it will tell me that my Chrome is open yes I want to close that application it will close my Chrome and then it will start its process and tell me okay it completed this 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 it, it cleared this all and IE and now I can just close it go back and test things again just like I was doing it manually before but now I did it from CC cleaner so a very good tool and that's the basic of browser troubleshooting and if you guys are having any problem with just normal stuff try this air try the, these steps and if it doesn't work you guys can always come down to my forum area and then drop down if it's a technical issue but I will have different technical videos for um, for a lot of uh, like troubleshooting and different problems so that this was a basic stuff so get used to this this is 80 to 90 percent I'm telling you if you're new to help us get used to this stuff because this is what you deal with people they they work on this 90 percent browsers outlook microsoft word powerpoint um normal stuff do, share documents and that's everyday job for a help this person you don't get to imaging um everyday imaging is something that you do after months you don't get to servers um uh, every day that's something you do like a month you don't add users every day that is also something active directory related and you don't do that every day but this is the stuff that you do every day you, people work on it every day so you're gonna get a call every day so yeah that that's this is the whole purpose of this video was to tell you guys this basically not to really sh I mean not to kinda teach what tools I'm using but this is the whole purpose that why I was uh, f uh, kind of stressing it and like get used to it so thank you for watching and I will be seeing you in an another video and thanks for the support actually thanks for the support that so many people are joining in right now to jobskillshare.com um, and um, I'm just amazed with the support you know alright thank you so much see you guys next video